another episode of webtoon rant and today we got ss class revival hunter or ss class suicide hunter um and this one is probably one of my first and all favorites let's get right into it shall we so really what the, what the essence of this webtoon is is the fact that it has all these really great emotive elements and these really not typical Definitely not typical, but definitely these are elements that have been used a lot. Like, oh, oh, he, when when the main character dies, he goes back like 10 minutes in time into his body so that he can really never die. He's immortal. Like, stuff like that. It has been done before, and it, it probably will be done again and again and again thousands of times. However, SSS, SS Class Hunter Special. And that's because the thing is, um, first of all, it's it's the grit, the pure grit. This is one of the base things that really makes you like a main character, and this is it. So this is a scene where the main character wants to go back in time to kill, to like stab or get this bastard that's really annoying and that he's like ranked number one but he's kind of a dickhead and basically what he what the main character does is he kills himself because he has the ability to go back in time when he kills himself. So he kills himself over and over and over and over again, thousands of times to get back in time and it's pretty awesome and I'm gonna kind of look at this scene so to get that bastard before he was awakened. You have died. <gasps> Return to 24 hours prior. Now it's only 4,049 days left. You have died. You have died. <sighs> Returning 24 hours back. There were no penalties for using the skill. You have died. 2,020 days. You have died. 543 days. Last. Day 1. This is probably one of one of the most well executed scenes that I've seen with this kind of concept where you can see the main character going crazy but they're still going and they're almost going mad with their desire to do what they need to do which is their goal to get rid of that dickhead guy that's currently ranked number one even though he's like a bad person and another thing about SSS class hunter that differentiates it from other other webtoons or manhwa that have used this concept is its emotiveness. The way they portray some scenes is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of them. For example, when he clears a floor boss, like he he performs mercy on them, the dolls within uh within that boss room, and there's a lot of different emotive scenes. However, I picked one that's quite recent because I really really loved it. So I'm just gonna go through it. Okay. So this is a scene where they're transported to a Morim dimension for a class uh, for a for a tower clear because the concept of this is oh you go, you go up the tower to clear it and get stuff you know the typical webtoon concept and essentially this is where they're they're kind of teleported to this dimension where it's the Morim the Morim being the the land of the martial arts and apparently there's been a zombie apocalypse there and now only the leader of the two sides of the of the of the cult and of the Rimeng are left and basically they've been holding on for three years and not really doing anything and they've been dying however they have tried not to die because they only want to die through each other and if they just die then it'll be really sad however we got this really emotive scene where the main character basically revives all of their soldiers and gets them back on their feet for the final battle thank you for not giving up for the last three years Thank you for finding Jiangxi every single morning. If the two of you had given up, I definitely wouldn't have been able to find them back. Hundred Souls Reincarnation. Just think of this as a dream. You could also think of this as a side effect of losing your Danchun. You could also just think of this as me having learned some kind of strange sorcery. Master Morim Alliance Leader. The world of the demonic cult isn't over yet. If martial arts has lo hasn't lost chivalry, then chivalry hasn't lost martial arts. If the demonic cult disappears from the world, it could, would just be because of the orthodox sect's words. And if the orthodox sects do get destroyed, it'd only be by the hands of the demonic cult. I would like to say this to both the demonic cult leader and the Murum Alliance leader. Please fight and decide who the last matter master of Jianghu will be. It's incredibly emotive. I mean, I mean, I mean that art itself looks amazing as well. But it's incredibly emotive. It creates emotions really, really well. And there's this another. There's a couple other amazing things that I'm just going to quickly go through. 
This is a scene where the master of him has a final duel, except it's a duel of imagination. They use words. It's like a debate of swords, and and the main and the master or the or one of the characters within the Morim is trying to explain to the main character like, oh, like this is what I'm doing, and it's pretty amazing. I can see my opponent. He's a strong and noble martial master. He's big in size, isn't he? Yes, master. A martial master that's as big as a bear is breathing heavily. He's smiling confidently while asking me to bring it on. He's probably confident because there's a huge physical difference between us. How can one overcome those physical differences? I have to embrace the fact and think of what I'm good at. I can move faster than he does. Above all, I'm familiar with the snow field. I'm better than him at using the traceless snow steps. This is a prolonged fight, understand? I'm aiming for a prolonged fight. Which is why he's seen through my intentions. He's moving faster. He's charging towards me like a wild boar. But there's already no fear. But there's no need to fear. I already anticipated this. I'll step backwards lightly and draw him in. He's just like a wild boar that's charging at me in a flurry of snow. I was able to see the two of them. Each of our steps are causing snow flowers to form and fly around. It's snowing. It's been two days since we started fighting. How long can you run for? I won't lose in terms of Queen Gong as well. I'm confident that it can run forever. But you'll stop eventually. Don't you know? This world has become an endless snowfield. Even though I don't have any place to go, there are infinite places I can run to. If you were in your prime, you'd definitely be able to do that for eternity. But we're having a spar now. There's less than two hours until your time is up. Are you still intending to run despite that? Aha, uh -huh, how cheap. Yeah, I'll admit to that. I don't have much time left and I can't run forever. In that case, I'll show you my full strength. And this is a continuation of the fight. It feels really refreshing when you jump into the creek in the summer. You're teaching Gong Jian correctly. What? Sorry, that was a bit harsh. Rather than incorrectly, you're teaching him too early. It's good to sing about the pain of the world. It's also good to look at the pains of others. But you can't do that shit forever. Why not? Because it'll wear you out. Gong Jia hasn't tasted enough of the joy in the world yet. You need to broaden your taste for buds so you can truly be sad for the people who never get to experience sudden favors. You need to swim in the creek in the summer to be able to cry about the people withering away without water. The hearts of people are like a candle wick. If all you do is burn, you'll burn out one day. I mean, I seriously, I don't think I need to explain further. It's incredibly emotive. Every single scene are amazing, amazing, amazingly emotive scenes. It has cool concept, amazing main character, good personality, good character development. It's definitely easily an A tier, and I highly, highly recommend this one. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye.